Hey guys, today, the trials and tribulations of being a RAS owner. I have a silver belly RAS named Becky, and she's a beautiful fish. And uh, you guys have to excuse me again, as I said a lot of my videos. Uh, I've been running around right now, because I'm in shock. Well, I'm not in shock, but I also have a cold, so I'm not feeling that great. Anyway, I haven't seen my silver belly RAS for two days. So, the other day I put my hands in the tank, I did some scrubbing, and obviously I have to take the lid off. So I figured Becky was actually hiding in the sand, because the wrasses have done that. So I had a peek in these chambers a day ago. I did not see any fish, but I did not move these water box bio balls or whatever over enough either. So because of a tank this big, to see what's going on in the back chamber, you gotta get a step ladder because obviously this thing is against the wall. Now, I do not know if you're gonna be able to see this. Let's see. Uh, it's so hard for me to lean over without wrecking anything. I just found my beautiful RAS in the back pump chamber swimming around. So I just shut everything off. And now I have to go in there with a couple different nets to see if I can get her. Rasses are not gonna be easy. And I cannot believe she must have jumped into there the other day when I was cleaning the back glass. And I thought she was uh, in the sand. So she's gonna be really hungry and probably happy to see me when I get her. Uh, but yeah, rasses are crazy, they jump. It's one of the reasons why we have uh, this homemade lid that we did before. So. Give me a couple of minutes here. It's gonna be kind of tough. I have to kind of get her out of this chamber, lean over the tank without falling on it and wrecking everything. And hopefully I can catch her. I have a couple, um, where do they go? I have a couple different size nets. And uh, let this be a lesson. Uh, I looked on the floor, I looked underneath the tank. I looked everywhere in this basement. Where the heck is this fish? She was still in the back of this tank. And now I'm gonna might have to take some things apart to get her, but she's swimming around. She's doing great, but she's hungry. So I'll show you guys in a minute what the outcome is. And we're back. And there's Becky, looking really hungry. So it was a good thing that I uh, went with my hunch and decided not to just let things go and wait for her to turn up on her own because she was hiding under the return pump in the back chamber of this tank. And that's why the other day when I went to look for her, I couldn't find her. So as you can tell, she's, she's really hungry. I'm gonna give him some fresh seafood. Oh yeah. There's some more. Some hungry fish. There we go. So, thank God Becky is okay. But anyway guys, wrasses, they, uh, they're sneaky. They can jump. And my hand was in there and she jumped out of the tank, into the other part of the tank. I didn't even know. I thought she was in the in the sand in the gravel bed. So go go get that big piece. She loves eating those big pieces of seafood. But she's doing really good, as you can tell. She doesn't have any scars or anything. So that's great. So there you go, guys. Uh, we found my my lovely Becky. She's doing really good. Such a beautiful fish to watch. And uh, as you can tell, she's still nice and fat and happy. So uh, luckily, she was okay. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and uh, make sure when you are doing maintenance on your tanks that you make sure you know where all your fish are. Um, I thought she was in the sand and she wasn't, so she's back. So that's all that matters. We're all good to go. Okay, guys, have a great day.